Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about Sulukule Gate, which is located between Topkap and Edirne Kapı. In the Byzantine era, it was called as Porta Pemton, which means the fifth gate. Why fifth? Because it is 5 miles away from the Million Stone, which was used as a marker for the starting point of all roads leaving Constantinople. The Million Stone is very close to Hagia Sophia and Pazlika Cistern in Sultan Ahmed district, and it is even today partially visible. Every castle has a water tower, which makes sure the waterway or the river flowing into the city can pass through the city walls. Since people going in and out of the city could also use this passage, it was important to build it in a way to make sure it was safe for people using it. Because the water tower of the city of Constantinople, or Istanbul as we call it today, was built at this very point, the gate here was named as Sulukule Gate, literally meaning water tower gate as it was situated over the liquid stream. But there are also other ideas about the source of this name. Sulukra gate is a military as well as a public gate. It was reduced in size over time. It is written in some sources that once, there were two symmetrical sets of stairs on either side of the gate facing the city. But today there is no mark remaining out of these stairs. In late Byzantine era and Ottoman era, Sulukule gate was renovated many times. But the walls with small stones and brick lines dating back to the first construction period are still visible even today in a few points. The arch made of brick right over the entrance of the gate was rebuilt in the reign of Palaiologos dynasty, the last family ruling the Byzantines, from 1259 to 1453. Just below this arch, you can see a cross. And there's a Latin inscription over the gate, which praises a person named Puseus, saying that he was the one strengthening the towers and walls. Thank you everybody for watching this video, see you soon.